Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from UnleashedDevons.com and here's a quick look at Nokia Bell Feature Pack 1 on the Nokia 701. Um, the update just came out yesterday morning and um, so far so good. Uh, the update basically brings a whole bunch of new widgets as you can see right there. Um, it's available over the air so you can update, it, update to it right from your phone. Um, there's an updated browser, there's a whole new multitasking view, which I'll show you if I have any apps open. <laughs> there's Dolby Digital Plus included in the um, the firmware but it's only available via your headphones and as you can see everything's a lot faster now because the processor has been bumped from 1 gigahertz to 1.3 which does mean it'll take a little bit of a toll on battery life but nothing too bad. Um, there's also updates to the Microsoft apps and uh, the Nokia Maps Suite um, but yeah, let's take a quick look. Performance, as you can see, has improved quite a bit. Uh, everything's a lot faster, even scrolling around is a lot smoother. Um, no complaints as such, everything is really fast. This is the Symbian that everybody has been waiting for. Unfortunately, it does come at a little bit of a late stage. But yeah, the performance is really nice, everything's fast. Um, memory management has been improved slightly, that's one thing I noticed. Uh, even apps open a lot more quicker, as you can see, nothing, well, it's very noticeable, so definitely appreciated. Um, let me just open a couple apps so that I can show you the new multitasking view, uh, which is quite interesting. Okay, I do have a couple, I haven't updated the, the, um, OV story yet, so that's a bit of a problem. Alright, so you press and hold the button and you see that the new multitasking view is very much like Windows Phone where you get these apps right there, but you can close them, which is the, the advantage of the true multitasking on Symbian. Gotta love that. Um, so yeah, that's a quick look at the multitasking view. Very fast and nice and you can switch to anything right there. Um, there's also new widgets, as I can show you right there. Um, the new widgets are basically uh, let me open them up for you. Um, there's a new mechanical clock somewhere right there. There it is. Um, there's the mobile data tracker right there. Um, there's the new music player widget and the new offline and online widget right there to switch between offline mode and online mode. Um, other widgets might be installed with other apps that you have installed, but these are what come with the phone right now. Pretty nice, not too bad at all. Um, what else can I show you? Uh, yeah, oh, the pull down notification has been slightly tweaked. Um, there's now a division between the active days for Wi Fi and Bluetooth, um, and everything is divided very nicely. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's about it then. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like I said, there is Dolby included, uh, Dolby Digital Plus included, but I can't show you that because it requires a pair of headphones. Um, the browser, I can quickly show you the browser, maybe. Um, the browser has been updated slightly. Uh, there's better support for HTML5. I don't have internet now, so I can't show you that. Damn. <laughs> but um, the icon-based menu has been replaced by text. Um, everything's a lot nicer and improved. Even the um, even the menus have been fixed quite nicely. Uh, I like. I definitely like this update. It's it's a lot of new things that are small but noticeable. Um, so yeah, it's easier to get to the core functionality of Symbian with these new changes. Um, and I guess that's about it, yeah. So the update is available right now over the air. You can just um, go to the software updater app on your phone to check for the update. Um, or you can dial in star hash four type zero hash to see what firmware you're on and update it right from there. Uh, definitely a very nice update. Unfortunately, it's not coming to the older phones like the N8 and the E7. I'm an E7 owner and an N8 owner, so I'm a little bit sad about that. But if you have a 701 or a Nokia 603, I think, or even a Nokia 700, um, you will get this update. Older Symbian phones, unfortunately, will not be getting it. But uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below or check out the full blog post on unleashthephones.com.